Hello, my name is Manuel C. Cruz. I'm a paraprofessional at Peters Conley Elementary. I also happen to be an actor. I'd like to read a story to you. Good Night, Good Night by Shelley Moore Thomas. Illustrations by Jennifer Plakus. All Rights Reserved. Published in the United States by Dutton Children's Books, a division of Penguin Putnam Books for Young Readers. Copyright 2000. Once there were three little dragons. They lived in a dark cave. The cave was in a dense forest. The forest was in a faraway kingdom. The poor little dragons were very lonely in their deep, dark cave. In the kingdom there was a good knight. Every night he kept watch. He watched from a crumbly, tumbly tower. It was on top of a very tall wall. One night, the good knight was on his watch. He heard a very large, very loud roar. So the good knight left the crumbly, tumbly tower. He climbed down the very tall wall. He jumped on his horse. Away, he said. He galloped through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He came to the deep, dark cave. Inside, he saw the first little dragon. What's this? he asked. Methinks it's a dragon. And he drew his shimmery, glimmery sword. The dragon had on his jammies. He was all ready for bed. Oh, good! You have come, said the dragon. Could you bring me a drink of water? Please! Then I can go to sleep. The good knight did not know what to think, but he was a good knight. So he got a drink of water. He gave it to the dragon. Then he tucked him into bed. Good night, good dragon. Sleep well. Sleep tight, said the good knight. Then he galloped away. The good knight went back through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He got off his horse. Thud! He climbed up the very tall wall to the crumbly, tumbly tower. There he stood on watch. He stood on watch for five minutes. Then he heard another, very large, very loud. Roar! I don't believe this, he said. He left the crumbly, tumbly tower. He climbed down the very tall wall. He jumped on his horse. Away, he cried. He galloped through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He came to the deep, dark cave. The second dragon was in her jammies. She was all ready for bed. Oh, good, you have come, said the second dragon. Could you read me a story, please? Then I can go to sleep. And could I have another drink of water, said the first dragon. The good knight did not know what to think, but he was a good knight. So he read the dragon a story. Then he tucked her into bed. He got the first dragon another drink of water. Then he tucked him into bed. Good night, good dragons. Sleep well, sleep tight, said the good knight. Then he galloped away. The good knight went back through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He got off his horse. Thud! He climbed up the very tall wall to the crumbly, tumbly tower. There he stood on watch. He stood on watch for two minutes. Then he heard another very large, very loud roar. This is too much, he said. He left the crumbly, tumbly tower. He climbed down the very tall wall. He jumped on his horse. Away, he cried. He galloped through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He came to the deep, dark cave. 
the third dragon had on his jammy. He was all ready for bed. Oh, good, you have come, said the third dragon. Could you sing me a song, please? Then I can go to sleep. And could you read me another story, said the second dragon. And could you get me another drink of water, said the first dragon. The good knight did not know what to think, but he was a good knight. So he sang the dragon a song. Then he tucked him into bed. He read the second dragon another story, then tucked her into bed. He got the first dragon another drink of water. Then he tucked him into bed. Good night, good dragons. Sleep well, sleep tight, said the good knight. Then he galloped away. The good knight went back through the king's forest, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He got off his horse, thud. He climbed up the very tall wall to the crumbly, tumbly tower. There he stood watch. He stood on watch for one minute. Then he heard the largest, loudest roar of all. Not again, he said. He left the crumbly, tumbly tower. He climbed down the very tall wall. He jumped on his horse. Away! he cried. He galloped through the king's forest. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He came to the deep, dark cave. Oh, good, you have, you come. have come, said all three dragons. Let me guess, said the good knight. Another drink of water. No, said the first dragon. Another story. No, said the second dragon. Another song. No, said the third dragon. Then, what do you want? cried the good knight. We need a good night kiss, kiss, said the little dragons, and they lifted their scaly little cheeks. This is going too far, said the good knight. But he was a good knight, so he bent and kissed each scaly little cheek. Good night, good dragons. Sleep well, sleep tight, he said. The dragons said, Good, good night, night, good night. night. The good knight left the cave. He waited outside. He heard the loud dragon snores. Then the good knight went home, through the king's forest, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He got off his horse. Thud! Now, said the good knight, maybe I can get a good night's sleep. And that is just what he did. Sleep well. Sleep tight. Good night. The End